Okay, we're in Concord. This is a real treat for me. This is Gus Arginal, who I've known for too long, and we'll talk about this. He had to go all the way to Texas, but now he's back. I don't know. We'll start with what you're doing. It says e -E -B, e B on your shirt there. Tell people what you do now, Gus. They should all know already, but if they don't, <laughs> Cal it. State East Bay. Yeah. I'm the head basketball coach now there. I've been there since 2013, the summer of 2013 is when I was hired. Um, so we're going into my third year now as a head coach there. Yeah, that's awesome. And then maybe, take, I guess we got to go all the way back to the start. And we'll pick it up here in a second. Actually, go ahead and pick up, pick, pick up what's on the ground there. Uh, tell, tell people what we got here. This yeah. is. And actually, show them the cover. This is famous. Yeah, this okay. is the, the 1995 Diocese of Oakland, the yellow book, they call it. But this is the record book. Right. So. I think you're trying to put me on the spot here and show me that I was actually an okay player. But no, no, I'm helping you out with recruiting. So this is a recruiting tool right here, but this shows that at one point, my sixth grade year, 1993, I scored 25 points in a playoff game. Right. So yeah. this wasn't just some rinky-dink game. This was a big-time game. And but show them who's below you. So you have 25. We had, had 25 in 1993. For St. Perpetua. For St. Perpetua. A young man by the name of Gary Payton in 1980 had 24, and then Jason Kidd. In 1980-something, had, tw had 21 for, for St. Pascal. Pascal. Okay, so, that's, so you can tell recruits, you can tell everyone, you can tell your kids, in sixth grade, you might have been a better player for one game than Jason Kidd and, uh, and uh, Gary Payton. I had him for one game. One, one game, and then that's courtesy of, of my brother David. And talk about this, who would win when St. Perpetuals of Lafayette played Christ the King in Pleasant Hill? San Perpetua holds the all-time record for sure. But if you ask a Christ the King player, it's going to be a little wary to say that. But that was a great rivalry. What did you call You called it the rivalry of the East Bay. Oh, uh, it was the East Bay rivalry. San Perpetua, Christ the King, head over to Pleasant Hill, Concord. We have some battles over here, St. Francis. Um, those were the fun days. That's where it all started, basketball, CYO in the, in the Bay Area. Right, no, but my brother David says, eighth grade, 1995, Christ the King, diocese champions. That might be true. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll give him that. I was back to back for fifth and sixth grade, led by Justin Smith, Brian Thompson, Matt Teichman from Akalani's High School. Right, that's a. I yeah. was uh, hanging on to their coattails. Uh, very nice. Yeah, exactly. And see, that's we're talking about. Some people will know what we're talking about, but you all were very good players years ago. I mean, uh, talk about that. The, the, the choice, it was your dad. You wanted to go to Akalani's, but your dad made the correct choice and sent you to Dulles South. There we go. I grew up in Lafayette and. Played for St. Perpetua growing up. All my buddies went to Stanley and St. Perpetua. And the decision was just at, at the very end of it. He had gone to Reardon in San Francisco okay. and had a great experience there. And De La Salle, he had got to know the De La Salle coaches, and I had gone to a camp there. And, and then just the school, the, the whole environment of that, he really wanted that for me. And that was that. It, I, I kind of made the leap of faith, and it was the best decision I ever made. Right. And talk about that. You bridged the gap between Renault and uh, in Alaco. I think, did you play for both? Or? Played for both. Right, exactly. I tell people, I mean, people remember Alaco. Uh, uh, Renault's been gone for such a long time. Uh, tell people about Renault. I was really lucky to play for Coach Renault. I was a sophomore on varsity with Brandon Payton and uh, had a really good team that year, but he had, they had just come off a year where they went to the state championship. They lost to Crenshaw. So I was a sophomore. I was really excited. Coach Renault was an awesome coach, great person, mentor, um, and, and really got me started at that level. That transition from JV basketball to varsity is a huge one, and he was really good at mentoring me with that. And then I was lucky enough to play for Coach Alaco for the next two years, junior and senior year. Um, and I ended up working with Coach Reno at Rice University down the road. Yeah, we'll, we'll get that because uh, you've been all over Texas. I've been everywhere. You've been everywhere, okay. And so let's talk about, I just thought of something, this is an obscure thing. Maybe somehow through Brandon Payton, we get to Gary Payton. He's always in Las Vegas. He's got to be in Oakland occasionally. I show him this yep. and get his response. I mean, uh, St. Lawrence O'Toole, 1980, and see if he remembers. I mean, he, he would remember yeah, that. Okay, absolutely. And the when, other whenever you see that book, uh, that's a famous book. If you played CYO <laughs> basketball, the diocese record book is, right. a, is everybody knows it. Okay, and then the other guy, maybe somehow to get, get the kid because my brother David charted it every year. St. Pascal's, Jason yep. Kidd is a third grader champion fourth grader champion, fifth grader, all the way to eighth grade. Yep. So people think it was St. Joe's. No, he did win a state title at St. Joe's. His first title was at St. Pascal. CYL. Hey, we, got, we got it right there. That's yeah. where you learn to win, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. And for you, I rem you did score whatever, the 25 points. But you, you were defense, if I remember. Am I correct, or do I, I'm not, I might not remember anything? Coach Laco always makes fun of me because I was co-MVP one year 
of the BVAL. Right. But I only averaged about four points or something like that. Right. So it's easy when you have Joe C and these good players all doing all the hard work, and I just I just had to play defense and not get scored on too much. So, right. Yeah. No, but I also I see my memory was off. I talked to AJ Cool the other day, and I said you you guys won a lot of games, forty three to thirty nine. He said, no, 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 Brian, we won games 83 to 39. See, I had forgotten, I mean, it was years later that Del Salle would win the games with the low scoring game. Right. But so you guys were putting up some points. I mean, so it was Joe C. Yep. Who, who else was putting up the points? At Chris the uh, Slatter, Sh- AJ Cool, yeah. um, Charles, uh, Charles Brown. Was Brown, but he was a little bit younger than I was. Right. I had a guy named Jaime Sanchez. Yes. He's in that book. He's from right. Panol. Yeah. Uh, he he's from Oakland as well too. Actually, right. Oakland. Okay, yeah. Okay. And then uh, Casey Cortez was on was my year. Right. Um. We yeah. It was all younger guys. Right. Connor yeah. Famulner. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Because somehow yeah, you laid the foundation, and it was the next year that the next they, year they won the state championship. Exactly. But so, uh, but it also we joke, but you, I don't think they could have won it without what you guys did the year before. We we had a really good group. You know, it was Coach Lockwood's first year. We won maybe twenty five games, and then his second year we won thirty games, and then the next year they won the state championship. Right. Josie hit two free throws at, with I think a second left on the on the clock, and yeah. and he's the hero. Exactly against uh, Columbus West. Exactly. You know, I got a track. He's down in Danville. You have two kids. Joe has three. He does. Yeah. I tried to get him to come to our father son camp. But he was out of town. But next right. year we're going to get him over there. Okay, sounds good. No, so so it's good. So I'm not the only guy chasing Joe C. Everybody is. Okay, yeah, and uh, so, so was Clovis West that day. So okay, they were. Okay, I'm trying to think uh, what we do. You know what we do? Let's let's take a break here, and we'll come back, and we'll do more. I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna we're gonna talk so long that your wife and kids are gonna come back. <laughs> Maybe we'll incorporate them. This literally it can't be because you got stuff to do. It might be a two-hour interview. There we'll, we fi- go. we'll find out. But uh, thank you for your time, Gus, and we'll be right back. All right, thank you. 